people around the world are marking International Women's Day. While activists in some nations noted advances, repression in other countries and the large numbers of women and girls who experience sexual assaults and domestic violence worldwide highlighted the ongoing struggle to secure equality. From demands for constitutional rights in Islamabad, to calls for economic equity in Manila and Paris. International Women's Day demonstrations in cities around the world highlighted the unfinished work of providing equity for half of the planet's population. Some are feminists and I would like to be supportive of any feminist campaign. And uh, let's take the pride of being a woman and uh, not be afraid of anything. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres noted this week that women's rights are abused threatened and violated around the world. Progress won over decades is vanishing before our eyes. Gender equality is growing more distant. On the current track, where New Women puts it 300 years away. Even in countries where women have considerable freedom, there have been recent setbacks. This was the first International Women's Day since the U.S. Supreme Court ended the constitutional right to abortion last year, and many states adopted restrictions on abortion. In Spain, which for years has produced one of the world's biggest turnouts for International Women's Day marches, this year is marked by a division within its own left-wing government over a sexual liberty law that has inadvertently led to the reduction of sentences for hundreds of sexual offenders. The United Nations recognized International Women's Day in 1977, but the occasion has its roots in the labor movements of the early 20th century. The day is commemorated in different ways and to varying degrees in different countries. The Taliban's intentional and calculated policy is to repudiate the human rights of women and girls and to erase them from public life. It may am amount uh, to the international crime of gender persecution, for which the authorities can be held accountable. The UN identified Afghanistan as the most repressive country in the world for women and girls since the Taliban takeover in 2021. Afghanistan's new rulers have banned girls' education beyond sixth grade and barred women from public spaces such as parks and gyms.